Paul King, the director of the whimsical and acclaimed Paddington movies, has set his sights on Willy Wonka. The Hollywood Reporter can exclusively reveal that King is in final negotiations to direct Willy Wonka, a reimagining of Roald Dahl's classic children's book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is being developed by Warner Brothers. King would be reunited with David Heyman, the producer of the Paddington movies. As you might recall, Wonka is the infamous and eccentric owner of a chocolate factory who's featured prominently in Dahl's 1964 book and its follow-up, Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator. He also was the caretaker of the Oompa Loompas, the short humans whom Wonka saved from enemies in Loompa Land and now make his candies. The Wonka character became so popular in culture that the 1971 film adaptation of the book was titled Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Gene Wilder portrayed the character in that movie, while Johnny Depp played him in the 2005 adaptation titled Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Simon Rich wrote the new script, which is being kept under wraps. Warner Brothers is beginning a creative revamp of some of its properties. Properties. The hope for Willy Wonka is that King will initiate a new franchise that will stand out artistically. Another doll adaptation, The Witches, has a script written by Guillermo del Toro and is attracting directors, with Robert Zemeckis said to have met for the project. The move follows the studio's deal with the Dr. Seuss estate to make a new Cat in the Hat movie, as well as other Seuss adaptations. And new leadership overseeing the DC-based movies is also intended to steer that slate in new directions. King currently has Paddington 2 in theaters. The British-centric movie, which stars Sally Hawkins and Hugh Grant, among others, was released by Warner Brothers. The movie holds an astounding 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, a record, and has made more than $205 million to date worldwide. For more on this story, go to theater.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.